everyone, this is Asan from HTFX and I would like to talk about Russell 2000. Um, this is the, the, the next contract, okay? So contract in front. So if you look at this chart from daily perspective, okay, what I see is actually um, a bullish case. Now why? I will tell you why. Now, the turning point of our chart, as you can see, is with this move here, okay? Now after this, there is definitely some kind of wave in which degree, as of now, I don't know, but it looks like something has ended here and we had a move to the downside and now we're going up, okay? So let's see, let's see the move after this, what it can happen, it may have happened here, okay? So let's try to go on the four hour chart. I think there was a clearer picture in the four hour chart, okay? Now, let's go a little bit like this. Okay, better. So the previously stated area for our like uh, the change is this area, okay? So this is where the turning point of this chart. And this is why I will put something here on the different degree, okay? So let's put it on purple something because we don't know what is actually finished here okay but what we can make uh what we can uh, start a case of what actually happened after this so this you have to ask yourself two questions from from this point here from somewhere around here to the something that you see on the bottom now is this does this move look like an impulsive move or a terminal move? that's the first question well, to be honest, you can make an argument for both. Now, you can um, say this is one, this is two, this is three, this is four, and this, this move, five. Now, why I didn't choose this option, I will tell you. First of all, when it drove to the four trend line, I mean, there is a little bit from the start so much uh, this. Now, there are some times that I ignore this, to be honest with you. So two to four trend line has to be clean, but it cannot be pierced by the third wave. But this, sometimes we can look past it, okay, if every other thing is on point. However, I have a different problem here problem comes from the fifth wave now the fifth wave in here as you can see it does not look like an impulsive move it looks like a terminal move it, it if it, if it's an impulsive move, it can be only terminal move because we cannot we cannot identify here uh, one two three four five with an extended wave and all that stuff but the problem with this is it can happen here yes but it doesn't come back to where it's supposed to in due time. It doesn't come back all the way to the here, which makes me believe because if we were in a fifth wave with a terminal move, what I would do, like I what I do all of my videos, if you go and check the other ones, what we should do is you should take this fifth wave, okay, and take this time taken and take 50% of it. And put it on the right side of the face way, and I we we are assuming that this should go all the way to here, in due time. Now, did it come back there? No, it doesn't. And this point is, well, something in a huge margin, like forty points or so. Now, if you think that you can get past to that, which I don't have problem with it, but uh, I wouldn't. This is why I am ruling out this uh, impulsive way scenario, but rather I would like to see here a complex correction, namely a move looking something like this, okay? The ABC here and an XY. Now let's check it out. If this is an ABC, what we need? Well, this can be only a zigzag pattern. Why? Because this is the first stop. So the wave A here, okay? This is our wave A something like this and let's check our fib uh, so retracement from the start to the retracement level as you can see we are not coming to 618 it means that this corrective wave can only be a zigzag if it's a zigzag 
we know that wave A and wave C has similar time. So what I do is take this time, and put it on the B wave. And as you can see, it comes back exactly to the C one. Okay, good. So we have A, A, we have wave B, and we have wave C. And after this, what it's like, it looks like we have a wave X. So if we have A, B, C, and an X wave, one of the options to end with a triangle, okay, which will give us our double combination, and that double combination will end something on this degree. Because a, B, if this is one degree lower, this yellow, if one degree is lower of this purple, then this A, B, C, D, E can finish this uh, purple. Now, if that's the case, where to put it? Well, how about this? I have wave A here, wave B here, a wave C, a wave D somewhere around here. And this triangle by itself is the wave E, which uh, in, tri in triangles itself, wave E can and most likely, not I cannot say exactly most likely, but it will usually can be, at least let's say, let's say it can be a triangle. Now look at this, A, B, C, X, A, B, C, D, E, which will end something on this degree too. Well, okay, so far so good. So. What about what's going on? What we had here is this ABC, X and triangle. <coughs> I'm so sorry. Now after this, what does market is doing to us? Okay. Well, it looks like the market did a wave A here and a wave B here. Okay. A B wave that actually came more than 618. So it is a flat pattern here. A, B, C is a flat. Now, the first thing that we have to ask ourselves is, is this ABC a simple correction or no? Because if it's a simple correction, it should have finished something on this degree here as well. But what to do? We draw zero to B trend line. Did this price action during this time? So this is the C wave, yes? You should take the time taking for it and put it on the right side. Do you see a price action that comes back and breaks the zero to B trend line in due time? No, we don't, sir. What does this mean? Well, it means that this is not a simple correction, but a complex one. If you're in a complex correction, it means that we have an X wave. We need an X wave, okay? So where to put X wave? Well, X waves are corrective waves. They can be a triangle. They can be a, comp a simple, other, it can be a simple flat, it can be a simple zigzag, or it can be any type of co complex correction. Now, in that case, what I see here, that I think this is the end of X, uh, X, Y. Now, why? Now, look at this triangle on the lower degree. So, now I am actually doing one lower degree uh, of this uh, X, Y. So, A, B, C, D, and a wave E. Okay, let's do it. This is the B to D, and this is the A and C. Part of E wave, this is a non limiting triangle. So, non limiting triangles, A and C trend lines are never clean. They are usually pierced by the E wave, which is what we have right here. Okay. So, so far we have a move to the upside that we had a flat and an X wave. And now this move. Now this move, what it is? Well, I have no idea. It can be... Um, because the retracement levels are so so uh, small, it it can be that we have something like this, um, a wave A. Okay, so we may have something like this, wave A, a wave B, and a wave C here. Okay, and then an X wave. 
and then something else. But, but what I don't like here is the, when you look at this market geometry, this is why it's so important. Look at the time taking for these other waves. Look, this time, this time, this time. Now this looks too short. So what I would think that what we will have here is some type of a wave A on this side and whatever I was just describing to be on this degree. So I think that we just have a corrective wave such as this one. So I think we have a wave A, wave B and a wave C and some type of a wave X. And now we are having, uh, not this X wave, I'm sorry, something like this and X wave because look at this move here. Look at the time taken for this. It is, is this similar? No, it's not even similar. It's not even similar like this. But I wouldn't put this view here. So it should be something like it here. And can we gain some type of more time by putting, okay, let's actually do a little bit better job because at this, the, the way that we are doing, it's not so good. Yes, this is the time taken for away. So look, even the times are here, not so good. But I don't see, to be honest, another option than here, than uh, in other than this. So A, B, C, D, this X wave, and then whatever we have here, it looks like it's just a wave A. Now, can can it be also something like this? Let's look at in it from a different perspective. Maybe we have something like wave one wave two and wave three okay because the zigzag idea it, it doesn't look like it's working and one two three four five and that five will just finish the wave a of a zigzag now if that's the case we need an extension this is the length of first wave okay this is the length of first wave and we should take 161.8 out of this to see if we have an extension from here. Okay, we have the extension. If we put the second wave here, we have the extension. Good. Well, there you go. What does this mean? It means that one, two, three, and we are, it looks like we are in a fourth wave. Okay. And after this, we should have a fifth wave. Now, when we have the fifth wave, it means that we will be done with the wave A. So we will have this as a zigzag. Now, the trouble here is this. Look at this, um, the territory of second wave. This. This is the territory of the second wave. Now, the fourth wave cannot come here. If it does come here, then it's a goodbye to this idea, okay? Because why? Well, one to three, this, we are in a wave A of a zigzag. Wave A of a zigzag cannot be a terminal move. So it, must, it, it has to be a classical impulsive move. In a classical impulsive move, fourth wave can never come to the territory of the second wave, okay? So this move, whatever this uh, corrective wave is, if it comes slowly, 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 if it comes to this area, then this um, idea of this being the wave A of the zigzag idea is not true. But other than this, if it comes and makes a new high, that will be the wave A. And after this, what I should check if that becomes the reality, then we should see. Let's go actually like this. It will be easier. So let's get rid of this. Okay, if you will have something like this, then we should check, let's say that, um, so let's say that this is the end of wave A. What I should do is take the field level and see if I see any retracement more than 618 on the future, on the right side, okay? And then the, after the B wave is done, we should play for the C wave, okay? For what? For ABCX, 
let's see if you have a double combination or a triple combination okay so i hope this makes sense guys and see you on the next one